Hey everybody and welcome back to Susquehanna Picker. My name is Justin, the Susquehanna Picker. Today's video is uh, a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to show you a spreadsheet that I use to keep track of my expenses and my cost of goods sold throughout the year in my eBay sales. Um, there are a lot of other spreadsheets and platforms that are out there to use. I chose this one just because I sell strictly on eBay. I don't cross platform and list on Mercari and Poshmark and so on and Amazon. Um, I use eBay, eBay only, and that's what this spreadsheet is designed for. Um, I used to be with a company called Easy Auctions Trackers, which was great, great information, great help the past couple of years, but uh, that family who produced that spreadsheet has ceased to do it this year. Um, so I, I moved on, and to be honest with you, I wish I would have learned about My Cost Pro a few years back, and I would have been using it since then. Um, so the website is My Cost Pro. Uh, you download the item. And they do offer a 14 day free trial. You just enter a coupon code Susquehanna Picker. I will put that on the screen as well as the link down below. It's a great website. I mean, what can I say? Uh, you have to have Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, obviously. I don't believe it works on Apple. I just upgraded my computer and I was going to get an Apple, but I was worried that some of the data may not transfer correctly. So I just stuck with the Dell. So let's get into it. Uh, uh, obviously, My Cost Pro, they do have a lot of tutorial videos on YouTube. This is just a brief, I don't want to say commercial, but this is just a, a quick look behind the scenes of how I do things on it. Um, you can customize really how you want. Uh, so you can actually see the purchase. It's $100 a year. It, it's not a bad price. It, it, $100 a year, that's, if you ever sit down and try to tax time and figure this stuff out, you're going to be kicking yourself in the butt wondering, why the hell didn't I pay $100 a year? So My Cost Pro is the website you can download from there. And like I said, the coupon code is Susquehanna Picker. And let's get into it. So this is the home screen when you do open it up. It gives you a message of the day. They have a form that you can always see. A lot of people do uh, talk on the form about tips and tricks they had or questions to Scott, who is a great help. Um, if you ever do need help, he emails Scott, and he usually gets back to you the same day, if not the day after. And he really helps dig into if you're having an issue. I've had a couple, but not much. And it is set up, and it's set up to run golden for the rest of the year. So you just click Get Started. And uh, the one thing is, I always go into Account Info and Settings. And the, the reason is, you can pull data from eBay through this spreadsheet up till 90 days. That's all eBay allows. So I always do 30. I don't care if I log on yesterday, I pull data, I log on today. I always come in and reset it to 30 days. The reason being is, and as you guys may know, that when you ship FedEx or UPS through eBay's label system, is you don't get charged to shipping until after it's marked delivered. So you can purchase the shipping. Say it's something's going out to the West Coast, you pay $18 to ship it. Uh, you don't see that shipping deducted from your account until after it's marked delivered. So it may not be deducted that day or tomorrow. It may be three, four, five days. It could be 10 days, especially around the holiday time. So I always go in and all you gotta do is, right now it says five, sometimes it has different numbers. I type in 30, I reset the duration, you'll get the notification that it's reset so it will go to 30 go back to your home and you want to go into your sold item list um, so this is some of my sales up until the last couple of weeks you'll see some empty spots in here because that's the postage from FedEx and UPS that haven't been uploaded yet um, it, it may fill in today. Um, I think a lot of stuff got delivered at the end of the week as I've been getting some feedback. But if you look at the spreadsheet, the way I set it up, you can hide whatever column you want to hide. If you just want to see two columns, that's fine. Um, I always show the quantity and the sale date. I like to know when it sells. Uh, the purchase price, the item purchase price is your cost of goods. So obviously, these are already entered, which I've already entered them before. I haven't. We're going to run a shot here in a second. Uh, the postage, which will be automatically put in there, um, even if it's FedEx or UPS, it just takes a few days. Uh, the final value fee, and then the ad fee. The ad fee is the new promoted fee on eBay. Um, 
I promote my listings, but if, like say this item didn't sell on a promoted listing, so or on a promoted ad, I don't get charged the ad fees. So that's why that spot's blank. And I'd love to know the income, which is the sales price, the shipping, and the sales tax collected. Um, obviously that's over here as well. I just like to see it all under income. They do have customer information such as addresses and email addresses under that tab, some product information. I mean, it goes really in depth. Then of course on the far right column is what I love the best, the return on investment, because we're all in this to make money. We're all in here to make a profit. And I just like to see what the profit is. And I love to see what the average return on investment is um, every month or at the end of every year. So let's just go ahead and download the sales from eBay, which is all set up. You can have multiple accounts too. I have Susquehanna Hannah Picker. Um, if you're running three or four different stores on eBay, you have to pay extra for those. Um, but the general cost of the subscription covers at least one account. So let's go ahead and download. Say sit tight, your data is downloading. Now I will say if you're downloading 30 days worth of data, which I, which I always do, it takes a couple seconds. Um, if you're only downloading like a day or four days, it's usually instant. Um, but to be in 30 days, it, it's asking eBay, give me all your data from 30 days. And that includes some of that postage from FedEx and UPS that may not be entered in yet. So that's what it's thinking and going to take care of all that for us. And 12 new items have been updated. So let's click OK. And all we really have to do is enter the item price. And then you'll see some, you'll see the profit and return on investment filter in as well. So like this Microvision game console just sold today and packed up and shipped out. Uh, I actually got that for $1. Type in one, enter, and you'll see that my return on investment was after all the income and expenses there were taken out was almost 1300%. Sounds like it's a lot of money, but I paid a dollar sold for 13. So I only made 1289 on it. Uh, there's a couple models here. I sold that one. I paid that one for a dollar at a yard sale. Uh, the mini stadium I actually got a, at a store closing, paid $20 a piece. They sold for 50. So yeah, doubled my money, 105% on the return on investment, made $20.97. So let me just go while I'm here and go down here and finish this out. So it's done. And you may have receipts for some of this stuff, but if you're like me and you're doing a lot of yard sales, you don't have receipts. So it's just a cash, cash receipt basis. So you have to know what you paid for stuff. I recommend taking a notebook along yard selling so you remember what you paid so you can always write it down. Two dollars, the Christmas ornaments. I paid five dollars for the box. Price set was it's in, it's actually 25 cents at a yard sale last year. The trains transformer was $3. And the two postcards were $8. So now that's all filled in. So I'm done. I just go back to the home screen, hit save, and I can exit out of this, and it knows my cost of goods sold. Uh, like, so you'll still see some empty postage because it hasn't, them items have not been delivered yet via FedEx or UPS, and it just filters all the way in over to uh, your profit and return on investment. I will say the sales tax collected, if you see one blank, it can be a couple of different things. It could be that it was sold to a state that there was no sales tax or majority of it is global shipping. Um, global shipping is no sales tax. Collected. There are a lot of other features to this and you can research that on your own, depending on how in depth you want to go with it. I just really do it to track my cost of goods sold. So when I came back to the home screen, now that it's all in there, I just click save. That way I know it's saved. Yeah, you'll see your widgets update of what your profit is your day, your profit month to date, income, selling expenses, overhead expenses, so on. What's nice about this is your expense track. You can edit your categories, um, fuel, meal, licenses, taxes, your office supplies, packing supplies, your miscellaneous expenses, which can be software such as this. And yes, that is a business deduction. I mileage your ads, referrals, if you pay out referrals to people, um, 
supplies. You can add whatever you want. You can customize it to your little side business, which is great. It only covers eBay. You're not worried about all your other platforms. And what's nice is you could do a single month or you could do an annual. So, so far in March, we'll bring 12 days in, 11 days in. You can have your, your P&L report right here. It does it for you. You print it off, you put it in your folder, and there you go. You're done for the month. And you could do your annual performance as well, keep it charted, and it's just tabs, just hidden tabs. And if you're like me, you're not a computer guy or an IT guy, I'm kind of computer illiterate. It's amazing how much I don't know. Uh, it's so easy to handle. It's it, it, it works itself for $100 a month. I don't see why you don't invest it. Um, so you can head on over to MyCost Pro and download it. They do offer a 14 day free trial. And like I said, it will be Susquehanna Picker is a coupon code. I hope you check it out. I hope you like it. Like I said, if you're only selling on eBay, this is the spreadsheet for you. So I hope you're enjoying the videos. I want you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, smash that like button, and put on that bell. It uh, reminds you that I have new videos and new content coming out. So why not get an alert on your phone? Uh, so until next time, keep on picking.